Okay, now I have downloaded the M3D software to my PC and I had tried originally with my Mac and that didn't work too well. Um, I guess there's a lot of different issues with different kinds of Macs and different softwares and their customer service has been very responsive and is working on it, but for now I've got it hooked up to the PC. I found that if I had plugged in the 3D printer and then connected the USB cable to my PC with the software open that Windows didn't recognize the M3D as a, a Windows device and I, I tried several things. What I found worked best is if I had the printer connected to the computer uh, and I powered down the printer, unplugged it, because there is no on off switch on the M3D printer, unplug it, then launched M3D software. Once that's up and running, plugged in the 3D printer and then it all connected and you can see it actually has an address for the printer it tells you when it's connected but what I want to do now is go and I'm clicking 3D ink and it says you know it looks like your micro 3D doesn't have ink loaded which is correct and it gives you two choices of inserting film in internal or external this is one of the things that I really like about this printer so I'm going to say internal and then it wants me to enter the code which is on the um, on the ink here it actually has a code COW in my case so I'm going to enter uh, COW click next and then what it's going to do is it's going to move the print head you can see the printer operating it's going to move it out of the way because here's one of the things I really like about this printer is that underneath the build platform is one of the locations you can store your filament and that's why the roll is really small get my uh, scissors here open this up but it's going to move the print head out of the way and then I'm going to Then I'm going to install the uh, filament. This printer is very, very quiet. That's another thing that I really like about it. Now the other option is that you could store your filament somewhere else. You have a tabletop rack. I've got you know some big racks above, so you could just store it you know somewhere above the printer and then feed it into the tube that will go to the head of the printer. That's something I will try here at some point, but sure is nice to have a place within the printer to put it, and especially one that's really compact. Alright, so now what you do, hopefully I can make this, well, you push the build plate back and then it pivots up. You lift it up and actually out. And then what they're telling you to do is to unwrap about a meter length of your filament, about a meter, uh, so it comes out counterclockwise, right, that's what I got here, and feed it into the tube all the way. So there is a tube in here, there's a tube in the bottom of the M3D printer, I think you can see that black tube down on the bottom there, and I'm going to feed this filament right into there. And then I'm going to push it until it is all the way, until it meets with resistance. So it's going all the way through this whole tube to the nozzle. Okay, now it's in and it's met with resistance. So <clears throat> I'm just following the instructions here. 
for the first time that I'm loading it. So click next. And now it's heating the nozzle. So I think it's now at this point going to heat and feed some filament. And then once it's done, I'm sure it'll have me put this spool of filament down into the bottom and then cover it up with the build platform. And then we should be ready to print. I can hear the fan turning on here in the uh, print head as it's heating up the nozzle. All right, now it's telling me it's loading the filament through its internal port. I may need to push, you may need to push the filament into the tube. And then it says, wait a few minutes to see when filament begins extruding out the nozzle. I'm meeting with a lot of resistance, so I'm gonna wait. There you go, it is extruding out the nozzle now. I don't know if you can see it dripping down because it started out as kind of a clear color, but now it's coming out the blue that I have, so uh, that I've loaded. So it's loading the new filament, and then it's asking if it's exited the nozzle, and I'm going to say yes. Okay, let's take that away. Now it's saying to wrap the extra filament on the spool and place the spool in the compartment and then put the print bed, the plate, back on there. I have to say it's a neat little system. So you again put this in at an angle. You put, you put this in at an angle from front to back into the slot and then put it down and then have to slide it back toward the front and you that locks it when you pull it forward seems to be solidly there okay so that's done now I'm ready to load a model and print it